The Ender 3, one of the most popular printers ever. It's a cheap printer and it's great for beginners, but it's one you can keep using forever because there's a near endless amount of upgrades you can do for it. That's why I put together this list of the best bang for your buck mods you can do for your printer. The first one is a new board. Motherboard, control board, main board. In this case, they're all referring to the same thing. This is the brain of your printer and upgrading it can do a few things for you. First of all, if you have an older Ender 3 that doesn't have silent stepper drivers, this is going to make your printer very quiet. This alone makes it worth it to me because the noise can get really irritating. Personally, I have the Big Tree Tech SKR E3 V2 Mini. <laughs> the board is also necessary for future upgrades such as run out sensors and auto bed leveling. Speaking of that, the next upgrade is auto bed leveling. This one makes printing more hands off, no more fiddling with the wheels every time you want to level it. It'll also give you that perfect first layer every time. It's just a nice upgrade to have. One of my favorite upgrades is these flexible PI coated textured steel build plates. Since switching to these, I've never had a problem with bed adhesion. Everything just sticks so well to it since the textured surface grips onto the prints. It also releases so easily once it's cold, it often just lifts right off or it just might need a little flex to it. I switch to these on pretty much all my printers. The next upgrade is a Capricorn tube. Capricorn tubes have much better tolerances and a slicker surface to prevent any friction on the filament running into the hot end. It also handles higher temperatures without degrading. The stock PTFE tube your printer comes with releases toxic gases when it gets too hot. Even just printing PETG can get it hot enough to do this. So for better performance and safety, Capricorn tube is a must have. Springs! Super cheap but very helpful. The springs your printer come with are very soft, which means vibrations caused by printing can throw your bed off level. This can even happen in a single print if it's a really long one. Stiffer springs just make it so once your bed's level, it stays level longer. These are extra important if you don't have auto bed leveling. The next upgrade is a metal extruder. This isn't an upgrade to your printer's performance, but in the long run, it's something you're gonna want. The plastic ones will wear down over time from the friction caused by the filament and even break right off. This is a good maintenance upgrade to prevent future headaches, so it's just a nice mod to have. Now there have been so many versions of the Ender 3 over the years that your printer might already have some of these included. So before you start buying up all these upgrades, just take a look at your own printer and see what it already has and what it's compatible with. Thank you so much for watching, leave a like if you liked the video, consider subscribing, and I'll see you next time.